also talk about the multi-stage golden growth model, which can solve the inconsistency of the dividend growth rate G. The multi-stage model are often used for the companies in the early stage, so their dividend growth rates are not consistent. Let's draw a graph here. So usually the company starts with a relatively high dividend growth rate with its GH, but it is not sustainable. After a while, to time T, the growth rate will drop to a sustainable one, and it will last forever, which is GL. To solve this problem, first, uh, we would like to draw a type line from time zero to infinity. That's the life of the stock. We will cut it into half from time t. This is when the dividend growth rate change. Uh, so what will the cash flow be? For t0, the dividend will be d0. When t equals to 1, the dividend becomes d0 times 1 plus gh. This is for t equals to 1. Until t equals to t, the growth rate, sorry, the dividend should be d0, 1 plus gh, and t is power. Then, when we go from t to t plus 1, the dividend growth rate change from gh to a relatively lower rate, GL. The dividend will be D0, 1 plus GH, T's power. It is the dividend from time T. For T plus 1, we should times 1 plus GL. And for T plus 2, it is from this base, and times another 1 plus GL. So what we can do is to separate the timeline into half. For the first period, it's from T0 to T equals to T, equals when the dividend growth rate change. And the second period is from T to infinity. So for the first period, what we can do is we draw all the cash inflows, convert it to the present value, which is uh, discount by the discount rate. And for the second period, we can see it is similar to the Gordon Gross model. But we need to notice that the initial time period is time t rather than zero. So what we can do is, it is the Gordon Gross model for time t equals to, so, so what is d1 in period two? It should be the dividend at t plus one. It's right here, right? So it's uh, D0, 1 plus GH, T's power, times 1 plus GL. And R minus GL. So all the cash inflows for period T can be represented by a cash inflow in time T, which is G, G, M, T. And after this, we need to convert the G, G, M, T to the present value. So now let's write down our final formula. The price equals to the present value of period Y. D0, 
zero, one plus g h, i's power. Discounted by one plus r, i's power. I equals one, two, three until t. And we plus the period two. We calculate the Gordon Gross model for time t first. So it is this one. D zero one plus g h t is power times one plus g l r minus g l and the next step we need to do is to convert it from time t to the present value which is t0 times 1 plus r t is power and that's it for the calculation of multi-stage Gordon Gross model